I was listening to my man uh, Finn McKenty at the Punk Rock NBA talking about Metallica, the most hated band. And uh, I'm a, I would consider Finn McKenty a friend of mine. So uh, I, it was just funny because I love that guy's channel. Anyway, <laughs> just made me think about my Metallica days. So, uh, man, I remember when I first, so basically when I was living in Maine, always like Black Sabbath. I've told you this a million times a Sunday. ACDC, always liked uh, just hard rock metal. You didn't really have access to too much up there, though, man. You know what I'm saying? It just wasn't much. I've said it a million times on Sunday. When uh, Judas Priest, you got another th thing coming. That was like the only hard rock song that was allowed on the radio. And uh, that I didn't like that song that much. Um, but uh, Screaming for Vengeance, freaking awesome album. And, uh, of course, I loved Iron Maiden. For me, Iron Maiden, the uh, Flight of Icarus, I forgot the band, what album that was. With Revelation, oh, man. That song is Into the Void by Black Sabbath. Probably my number one song of all time. Revelation by Iron Maiden, probably number two. Insanely good song. Insanely good lyrics. Saw them 82, 83 with Accept. Remember, balls to the wall, man. At the Civic Center in Carmel County Civic Center in Portland, Maine. Anyway, so in uh, 1984, I think, 85, sophomore in high school, I moved to, uh, to Maryland, right outside of Washington, D.C., on Georgia Ave. So literally, here's DC, Georgia Ave, here's my house in, on Silver Spring. And you can walk, in fact, because yeah, DC, if memory serves, the drinking age was lower, or at least they're a little bit more lenient on not checking IDs. So we'd walk down there to get alcohol, you know, local Asian places and whatnot. Anyway, so, uh, so I'm down in, in, in uh, Maryland. And I'll never forget, a guy gave me a Ride the Lightning cassette tape. So remember, by this time, I hadn't even heard of, like, punk rock or anything. You know, I hadn't heard of, I've told you before about, the first time I heard Void, I was like, whoa, a minor threat. It was even, it was before that. Some kid who lived in, like, German, so I went to a uh, high school, which was a magnet school. A magnet school, I guess, to more make the, the school more diverse, you know what I'm saying? So they draw smarter kids from out the county, throughout the county, into Blair High School to make it more diverse or something. I don't know what the point was, but anyway. So this is a kid named Josh. I'll never forget this guy. And he's like the, kind of like the second friend I ever met. Um, I knew this Indian kid named Samir, actually. He and I, he was a huge hockey fan. Oh, I wish I wouldn't have ever happened to that kid. I, uh, I don't know. We went to a couple uh, Capitals games, actually, at the Cap Center. Anyway, so Josh, I can't remember the kid's last name, Josh, though. There wasn't anyone. I was the only kid named Josh that I knew of. So having a, a kid named Josh, I think he was one year behind. I think he was a freshman. I was a sophomore. It was pretty amazing. And I knew his parents definitely were hippies and whatnot because generally no one was named Josh back then. You know, it was Josh Gibson, obviously, but that was, you know, the Negro Leagues baseball. There's a couple other Joshes from uh, the back of the time. But anyway, I can't remember where my name was from but uh be doesn't mean so i there's another kid named josh uh, i signed up for guitar class uh and this kid josh was in there too and he was kind of a metalhead like i was it's actually kind of funny because there's a black guy sitting next to me named israel and uh <laughs> he wasn't a metalhead but he was just in for the uh the easy grade and our teacher was a black guy and uh, israel was the guy who started introducing me to like go-go music from uh, dc back then I'll never forget that kid, funny guy. I don't know what ever happened to him. Anyway, so one time uh, I go over to Josh's house. He lived for, you know, out in the county. And I lived, you know, right there. And I went to his house, had a sleepover, whatnot. And he, uh, me, or maybe I made a dupe of a Metallica. Either Kill Them All or Ride the Lightning. I think it was Ride the Lightning. And I was like, holy crap. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was, that was insane. So that summer, so this is the summer between my 
sophomore and junior year. It looked like my dad was going to get a job up in Maine, and we are going to move back to Maine. And I was pretty stoked, man. You know what I'm saying? Because how, uh, I'm, oh, I was pretty stoked. Was just, but my sophomore year was tough, dude. You know what I'm saying? I didn't come and meet a lot of friends. Kind of a geek. I just, it was tough. I, I still had my deep Maine accent. No one could really understand me. But not. Anyway, so I was stoked to, the idea of moving back to Maine. So we're up there one, I, can't, I think I was staying with my mom. I can't remember, but uh, I'm just, so anyway, I got a job, so I was up there the whole summer, you know what I'm saying, as my, dog, my dad was interviewing, looking for a place to live and whatnot. Obviously it fell through, because we did not end up moving back to Maine. But I remember sitting there, I was staying with my mom that summer, and uh, I, I just, that ride the lightning was insane. I'd never heard, you know, I just, it was crazy. I was like, I'd never heard music like this. It was, it was wonderful, wonderful. I could stop listening to it. My friend Brendan had a car, but he was more into hippie stuff like Pink Floyd. I never got into Pink Floyd. Uh, the Doors, the Doors are okay. And, you know, David Bowie, that kind of stuff. It was okay. We used to, let's smoke some, let's smoke something, if you know what I'm saying. And drive around, go to the mall and stuff. And you know, sneak out and just smoke something at night. You know, just sitting there looking under the stars. I won't say it's fun, but uh, we used to do that. But I got a job working at Maxwell's Farm in the summertime, as most local kids in Maine do. You work at Maxwell's Farms picking strawberries. And you know, they, they're just there for community outreach because we weren't, I mean, literally, dude, you pick one, eat one, pick one, eat one. They got these Cambodians, these temporary laborers that come in there and just freaking haul at. It was crazy. Well, I'll never forget. So I, I had my little boom box thing, a small little one, because that was before headphones and all that. Did we have Walkmans back then? Maybe we did, but either way, I didn't have a Walkman. Walkmans were cheap, were not cheap, dudes. People, all, again, another thing about inflation. Look what I'm doing right now. None of this was available. Hell, you had to have money to even have a Walkman, you know what I'm saying? We didn't have any money. So I didn't even have a Walkman. Anyway, so I'm sitting there and I said, well, I had this crappy old beat box, boom box thing. And I remember playing Metallica while I was picking strawberries. And I remember this older lady, you know, probably 30, was picking next to me. And I paid, and it was Fade to Black was on. And if, if you ever heard Fade to Black by Metallica, it's a very it's a sad, it's really, it's a deep song. Very sad. But it's a good song. It's a great song, actually. But very, whew. If you're not in a good place, don't listen to it. Anyway, I'll never forget she sat there and goes, man, who is that? That was really good. The other stuff I don't like, but I really like that song. I says Metallica. She goes, oh, very interesting. I might have to look into them. I can't remember what happened with that, but I'll never forget. I was like yesterday. I had my boombox, pick some strawberries, put them in the leaders, quartz, whatever it was, pints. Eat a couple. Play the music. Bring it on. I had I couldn't play it loud because no one else wanted to hear it. But just this lady next to me, for some reason she didn't mind. I've had, you know, had enough manners to ask, would you mind listening to this? Is it okay if I play this while we're doing this? She goes, that's fine. I actually think I was faster than her anyway. Anyway, so that's my Metallica story. And then I, you know, I heard uh, Kill Em All. I th I'm sure I heard Ride the Lightning before I heard Kill Em All. You know, Kill Em All came first, if memory serves. And then, uh, and then 86 came out, I think it was Master of Puppets. It didn't do anything for me. They had like one or two good songs on there. And that was it for me, man. So that's my Metallica story. Pretty interesting, huh? Anyway, cool. Just figure I'd share that with you while I'm walking. There you go.